Hey guys, welcome back to Ostrich Investing, where our goal is to debate specific stock investment ideas. It's been a while. Uh, life got busy, the markets got crazy, uh, but it's good to be back. And so today we're just going to do a short video, um, and we've got to do it on one of our favorite companies, BPY gets new flooring for its unit price with a billion dollar substantial issuer bid backed by an equity line from BAM and that news release came out today. Uh, so we're just going to do a quick video on that. So a reminder from some of our previous videos, I'll try and post a link uh, for you if you haven't seen them. BPY has significant exposure to both retail and office real estate. So kind of the, the worst places you could be right now uh, on the real estate side. COVID has not been kind uh, to Brookfield Properties. Unit prices declined from close to $20 US in January to a low of almost $7 in March. And I think that's where we, we did our previous video was somewhere around there. Notably, um, BPY hasn't cut its dividend, at, at least not yet. And uh, today's announcement, July 2nd, the substantial issuer bid comes in at $12 per unit. Uh, which is a 17% premium to the previous close uh, or yesterday's close of $10.20. So this short update video is going to review the SIB unit price relative to recent trading. It's going to take a quick look at the press release and economics for BAM and concluding thoughts and key considerations for investors. Uh, disclosure, um, Ostrich does not own shares in BPY. Let's jump in. So here we go. Here's the stock price chart. Uh, importantly, I, I kept it consistent and we're looking at the last five years for BPY. And I had to have a little fun with it up top um, with the, the happy face emoji. Brookfield properties up 11% today. I snipped this a little bit before close, so it might be, uh, it might be a little bit different than that. Um, but up 11% and invest, BPY investors get to experience what Shopify investors feel every day. I mean, Shopify, uh, that, that has just been on fire. So uh, if we look back, uh, January 2019, that's when we did our first video. Um, so a while ago, a year and a half ago now, and we talked about it trading at a discount to NAV, 40% discount to NAV. February 2020, the company announced their Q4 results, and that was right uh, before uh, the big COVID crash as well. And so you can see the stock price really fall off. And here's where the SIB comes in at. So I just put put a big thick line there that comes in at about $12, or it comes in at exactly $12 per unit. And so you can see, I mean, the key takeaway, the SIB at $12 a unit is 8.6 times the 2019 FFO per share. And you know, while it's a premium to where the stock has traded sort of, you know, over the last few months, it's definitely at a significant discount to pre-COVID levels. Here's the press release. There's lots of words. Uh, we're going to skip a lot of them, but I just wanted to highlight a few things. Uh, so what we already mentioned, now there's complicated structure here. So we're just showing the Brookfield Property Partners press release There's that, that gets you to $890 million. But there's a corresponding release that I think takes it up to a billion even uh, based on the different entities here. So $12 per unit, as we said, 17.6% premium to the unit price as of yesterday. Um, but from the chart that we just looked at, you can see that, uh, you know, it's a, it's a far cry from uh, where the, the units were trading just back in January. And then down below here, uh, we can see that Brookfield Asset Management, they own 55% of the outstanding units uh, fully exchanged, fully diluted basis right now. If the offer is fully taken up, BAM is the one that essentially is going to be buying these, buying these units um, indirectly. And their interest is going to climb from 55 to 63% of, um, uh, of the shares or units on a fully exchanged basis. So conclusion, and again, this was a short one, but a very interesting one. And that's why I wanted to post the quick video. So I think really interesting announcement. And I, I think BAM does a good job at threading the needle here, providing support to BPY. So the substantial issuer bid is less than 10% of units outstanding. 
uh, but it does provide a short-term floor and potentially, potentially some stability in the unit price. Um, you know, I think if BAM had higher conviction, th they could have gone much larger. If we look at what they've done in previous crises, crises, is that a word? Um, let's go with it. You know, they've stepped up and, and acquired control uh, or they've gone big. Um, so I think, you know, less than 10% of units outstanding is not a huge, um, it, it doesn't, doesn't give me a ton of uh, confidence in their conviction, but it's better than doing nothing. And again, here, what we know is BPY is part of the Brookfield family and the management fees and the incentives for Brookfield are to have BPY as a standalone public entity. Um, and, and then secondly, the offer from BAM preserves BPY liquidity. And again, if you look back at our previous videos, we know that the balance sheet at BPY is extremely stretched. There's lots of debt. And even though they might feel that their, their units are undervalued at these levels, uh, they're in a tough spot. Um, so BAM basically brings in the liquidity here. I think it also provides some indication of where BAM sees value in BPY units. So $12 US, it's still 40% lower than, than January 2020 levels. And again, I'm not going to take too much um, or look too much into this. It's a relatively small size. I mean, a billion dollars is, isn't nothing, um, but it's a relatively small size of the SIB. So I don't think it indicates a super high conviction, in my opinion. And, you know, the last, the last thought is BAM's always been an opportunistic investor. And despite BPY being part of the Brookfield family, uh, one love, uh, we shouldn't be surprised that they're taking the same approach here. And, you know, as I thought about it a little bit more, I'm curious if this might be the precursor to a dividend cut. Um, because between now and December, uh, investors have an option to sell for, for $12. I mean, assuming, assuming that uh, uh, more than 100% isn't taken up. And it, that may provide... Um, that may provide an opportunity for BPY to look at potentially cutting the distribution. We know the payout ratio is well through 100%. So not sure, um, but just a thought that came to me as, as I reviewed the press release and thought through the implications. That's it for today's video. Hope you are enjoying these crazy markets. Happy investing and don't bury your head in the sand.